What is up everybody once again Random Ginger here and today I'm actually coming to you with uh, not a let's play but a redstone build thing whatever um, this is uh, I, I think I showed it yeah, yeah, yeah I definitely made a video on it um, a long time ago with just the one digit so right over here but now this is a two digit seven segment display seven segment display just means one two three four five six seven just like an alarm clock seven segments and it's basically a counter that can go up to 99 I added the second digit on there um, the reason that I, I kinda dropped the project for a while because um, if you look back at my videos you'll see that the first video was months ago oh chop chops here um, you see that the first video was months ago Hold on. Um, and the reason for that was I couldn't get oh yep yeah, there you go yeah this is apparently the inside of chops brain so yeah um, I couldn't get the timing down right for the way that I wanted to do the counter maybe there's a simpler way but this is the way that made the most sense to me I couldn't get the timing down right um, with the way that I had everything else set up um, so I'm gonna go over well actually first let's see it in action right that's what we always want to do first so it's at zero zero right now yeah I'll set it there, now it's nice. So you can maybe see that a little bit clearer. But it's at zero, 00 right now. If I add 3 to it, you probably won't hear any pistons, but it's really noisy in the back. 3, add another 3. And we'll just go up to past 10 so you can see the 10s uh, digit work. It's 9. Now this should go to 12. 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 12. There we go. And this R is just. There was a big space there, and that was my uh, attempt at making a little R for random ginger. Okay, so, um, first, uh, where should we start here? Let's start out right here first. Um, this is the memory of the whole thing. It is, it's called punch card memory, and basically what happens is, um, here, if I, well, first of all, this is the ones button, the two button, and the three button. So if I follow the one button all the way down here uh, this is the button this, is, this button right here does the same as the button on the front press it you'll see that made one like each block moved one spot over so I can do it again you'll see that you see that um, and basically what that does is right now you'll see that um, there's a solid block here so the power that's coming from these row of repeaters here is getting transferred over and it's going to this segment right here um, and then there's another solid block and then two glass blocks and since glass blocks don't transmit power the power coming from these repeaters isn't getting pushed through them so then these line this line right here and where's the other line this line right here aren't getting powered so the bottom and the top and this segment over here also has a glass block in front of it right there so those three segments aren't getting power and that's why you get a four there so if I were to add Let's see, if I add another one, you'll see that different glass blocks and different solid blocks get pushed into place. And now this second one right here and the one on the end, I think, yep, the one on the end don't have power. So that's what makes it look like a 5, because this segment and this segment aren't getting power, but all the other segments are. Because there are solid blocks, that's the blue wool in front of them transmitting the power. So coughed sorry about that so um, all these blocks are doing right here are basically just cycling through the numbers 0 through 9 um, that's all it's doing every time like and if I were to add you can see that this is the three digit follow this line right down here this is the button so if I were to do that you see every block moves three spots over so and that's just how you add three to it and then the twos all it does is moves the block twos over, blah, moves every block two over, but you don't need to see that. I just showed you the other two. So then right here, what this does, and I actually have a video on this, which I'll put in the comments below, not the comments, the uh, description below. Um, but basically, what this is is, um, when I press any of the buttons, they will, they all send a signal to this monostable circuit, um, which then pulses. Um, this piston pushes the block, 
this block over this repeater for just a little bit, just enough to start this this clock right here. Um, so the torch will send power to this block once it gets pushed over it, and then the block will send power to this piece of redstone right here for just a little bit until the block gets retracted, and then this clock will start going on, going around in a circle. And the reason that I actually have two repeaters on each side of the clock, you can see this is one side of the clock, that's the other side of the clock. Um, you can see that this repeater is at two ticks, this one's at one, so that adds up to three. Why don't I just do one repeater? Well, the reason is, um, and I think I explained this in my other video also, but I I didn't want um, I didn't want it so that uh, this side turns on, and then as immediately as this side turns off, this side turns back on. That doesn't work with this piston tape, um, just the way that I have it set up. What I wanted it to do was this side is on, then it turns off, and then after a short little delay, this side turns on. So that's how I wanted it to go. Um, and that's why I have two repeaters there, because those two repeaters make a little delay between the sides turning off and on. And I explained that in a little bit more detail in the other video, so you can go check that out if you want to understand that. Um, and then... Sorry, I coughed again. Um... Oh yeah, the reason I say cough there is because I go. I'm gonna go in and edit out that, so it's just silence there. So you know why there's uh, little pieces of silence all around, so you're not just confused. Um, and then basically, what these long lines of repeaters are, are um, like after. Okay, so this clock gets going, and then after a little delay, and the longer the delay, the more cycles this clock goes through. So for instance, for this line, which is the add one line, um, this clock is going, and then after a, what is this, four, seven tick delay, the clock, this repeater turns on, and the clock gets stopped. So then it stops going around, and the whole operation stops. Um, so then only one block is moved over here. Or each block is only moved over one spot. And then right here, I believe this is a 14 tick delay. That should be, I think. And then this one right here should be a 21 tick delay. I think it was 7 ticks per cycle. Um, and also, I think I do explain that again in my other video. So once again, go check that out if you want to know more. Um, <clears throat> and if you have questions, feel free to message me about them. I'll uh, try to answer as many questions as I can. Um, and then over here, we have the same kind of setup. Um, all it is is um, like the, the same thing with the whole clock here and the block getting pushed over the torch to start the clock. Um, and then right here, this is just a seven tick delay because we never want the tens digit to be um, to have more than one added to it. Uh, you're never going to add more than three, so there's no way you could go from say nine to something in the twenties, which would make the tens digit go up by two numbers. It's always only going to go up by one, so this is just a seven tick delay. Um, to stop the clock after one cycle. Okay, so now that we've gotten that down, I'm going to explain how we translate um, ten, like every every ten numbers that, uh, or every ten digits that we go through here. So every ten cycles, um, one cycle gets pushed through on the tens digit right here. And the way I do that is through this counter. So as you can see right now, this is at eight because the the uh, lamp that's off is whatever number it's at so that's at eight and if we were to go around and look here the ones digit is at eight so these lanterns correspond to the ones digit and now if we were to add one to it this lamp will go down to nine and then if we were to add ten that go there and then that runs one cycle so every time that this torch loses power, a little tick or a little pulse is sent down this line through here. These blocks are just to prevent this red zone and this red zone from connecting. Goes down here, hits this. This is just a monostable circuit, and it's actually sending out a two-tick pulse. Um, that's just that, that's just so that this piston doesn't push the block and leave it there. Because if a if a sticky piston because this is a sticky piston. If a sticky piston uh, receives a one tick pulse, it'll push the block out and then retract without pulling the block back. So we didn't want that, so we give it a two tick pulse. 
Um, and then, yeah, I already explained how this whole clock system works right here. Yeah, so, um, oh, and the re I'll explain something else. If you count these, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. There's two 6s here. And the reason for that is, this redstone line right here, I would have liked it ideally to go all the way to the end, but since the redstone can only travel 15 blocks, I need to put a repeater right here. Cuffed. Um, and what the repeater ends up doing is actually turning off two torches at the same time. So it's at zero right now. Let's just go ahead and add three to it so we can get up there quicker. One, two, three. You can see there's only one torch on normally, but when I get to six, there's two torches on. Uh, that's just due to this repeater. The timing of this whole counter gets a little bit messed up. Um, this is actually a counter I, I came up with myself. And I guess I'll explain a little bit how that works right now. Um, basically, this repeater, th this repeater is on right now. Or actually, we'll look at this one because it's, well, hold on. I'm just going to make it so that there's only one torch turned on because the six digit is a little bit of an anomaly. So this repeater is on right now, um, which is turning this torch off. And the signal wants to get passed through, right? Uh, th this repeater... The, the, this block is powered from this repeater, so this repeater wants to be turned on, but it can't because this one right here, when you have one repeater facing into another, um, like this, right now you can see that this repeater isn't locked. But if I go like that, since this repeater is sending power from the side into this one, uh, it gets locked in whatever state it's on. So you can see if I power that and then power this one, it's locked. So even if I unpower this repeater right here, it stays on because it's getting power from the side. So I can destroy that. That was just to demonstrate. Um, so power wants to get sent through, but it can't. So what happens is, just for a little pulse, and this is actually a one tick pulse. Over here I said there was a two tick pulse. This one's just a monostable circuit uh, with, with a one tick pulse. That's just the name of this little circuit right here. Um, so if I were to add one to it, you can see that red zone just turns off for a little tiny bit, just long enough to unlock all of these repeaters in the line and send the signal on to the next one right here. So if I were to add three to it, you will see this redstone line right here uh, pulse off three times so that the signal, it's like um, these repeaters unlock once, the signal goes down one segment. They unlock again, goes on one more, they unlock again, and then the signal will travel out of this repeater right here, all the way down this line, back to the zero digit. So let's send a three tick pulse through there. Hopefully I can look around fast enough. One, two, three. We saw it go on and off three times there. And that was really noisy because we just uh, had both both of these sets of pistons fire. So that's why it was so noisy. But now you can see we're at 31. It will go up to, all the way to 99 and then once it gets past 99, it'll just reset to zero. So it's uh, 34, 36, there we go. And it'll keep on counting all the way on up. Um, so I'm going to destroy Chop's brain right here. <laughs> yep. I destroyed your brain. So, um, yeah, that's all there is to this. I'm not sure. Someone may have done it in a more compact way. I'm not really sure. But I think, <laughs> but I think that um, this is the easiest way to understand. It's the way that made sense to me to do it. Um, I hope I I hope I explained it really well. I know we went through that quickly. If you guys have any questions, for sure ask. If there's enough demand, I'll probably just make another video explaining each part independently. If you guys would like that. Um, so yeah, just leave comments telling me what you guys want. Uh, send me messages if there's specific little details that you want to know more about. Um, but other than that, uh, that's about it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make. Uh, it took me a while to make this thing, but I finally finished it after I came back and revisited it. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, just have a great day.